Hey everyone, I'm in the craft room and I have another dollar store makeover craft for you and this is perfect for the holidays. Now you can tailor this to your decor in any color you want, but I am going to turn these little fishbowl candle holders and these candle holders into glittered either candle holders or vases. You can use it for either or. And I bought all of this stuff, these four things, and the glue, this fix-all adhesive super glue at Dollar Tree. That's my dollar store of choice. And all I need to do is clean all of this so the fingerprints are off and everything can kind of stick. And instead of doing, you could do something very similar with just the wine glasses, but I wanted it to be kind of tiered like this to kind of give it more interest. The first thing I'm going to do is take some sandpaper and I'm going to just kind of scratch the surface here. You don't need to do a lot. You just kind of need to get a little marred up and I'm doing this just on the bottom. And I'll do it on the edges of here. So what I was thinking originally was I was going to just do this glitter the top and maybe glitter the bottom. This part of it. And I've changed my mind on that. I have these fake pearls. And I'm going to fill up the bottoms of the little candle holder parts. And then it's going to, this is what it's going to look like. Oops. So it'll give it kind of a little bit of an elegant look with the little pearls in there. So now I'm going to take the super glue, open it, pop it. Okay. Then I'm going to use a skewer stick. You can use a popsicle stick, you can put it right on, but I'm afraid I'll make a big mess if I put it right on there. And put it on the edge. Alright, now you want to kind of center it on here and squish it down. Check it, make sure it's centered the way you want it. And then put it aside to dry and do the other one. These are dry, or at least dry enough, and all I'm going to do is take some painter's tape. So I have the painter's tape, and I'm just running it along the rim of the bottom because I want that to stay clear, obviously, with the with my fake pearls in there. Now I have my Mod Podge, and I have a little cup. Pour some in there. And I'm using the coarse glitter on here because I want it to really sparkle and shine. And you can do, you can do a fine glitter, too. Okay, I'm going to mix it up, and it's, you know, it's not super full, super thick, super anything, and all I'm going to do is paint it on here. And you don't really even have to put the glitter in the glue because it doesn't really cover that well. I just like to do it. I'm going to try to keep that rim clean. So get that on there, and then take your red glitter. Put it on, and this might take two coats. Pat it down so you know it's in the glue. And then keep moving around and keep doing it. Alright, this is dry enough to know that I think I really do want to put another coat on there. Just because I do think it's a little bit bare in some spots, and I think I'd rather it were a little more solid. And that's what I'm going to do is just do one more coat of the glitter, the Mod Podge and the glitter, and then we'll let it dry, and then it'll be ready. These are almost dry, and I was thinking about it, and I thought I need to do the foot just so that it matches, so it's not all top heavy with the red and doesn't carry through. So I decided to do the same thing, and I'm going to do it on the top of the foot so it's got the same texture to it instead of underneath. So you know the drill. We'll do the Mod Podge and the glitter, and it'll probably take two coats. Here they are, all dry, and okay, now I'm going to carefully peel this back. And if I get any resistance, I'm going to take my craft knife and just do a little cut along the top of the tape. I have a piece that's kind of stuck on there, so I'm going to just use my craft knife to kind of pick it off. Okay, I took it off of here and I accidentally pulled it too hard and I, now I have like a rough edge. So I'm just going to touch it up with a little bit of the Mod Podge and the glitter and then that will be it. So here they are, and you can toss a candle in them and use them as 
little candle holders or you can put flowers in them because the inside is still glass all the glitters on the outside so you don't have to worry about it um, you are going to shed a little bit of glitter for a while you can take a soft brush to it and knock any loose stuff off if you want or just let it shed and see because it's all still glass inside but we have the red glitter with contrasting with the white pearls and it's kind of an elegant little set that has a little bling and pizzazz to it and I hope you like it so I hope you give it a try another great dollar store makeover and I have red glitter everywhere in my house because I have two more dollar store makeovers with red glitter so this is like the big red glitter day for me and remember to rate comment and subscribe if you like this project or any of my videos I'd love it if you threw me a thumbs up and we'll see you next time happy crafting and happy happy holidays yeah.